But there is also something much better you would like to see. What if you all follow me, and I will show you. This is where all the funds are. Go in, kids. my friends. I don't know, Christian, but they might be around somewhere for fun, but we can just wait. Where's my son? Don't worry, he'll try to find his son. Just in, breaking news, local establishment Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria has been closed and is under investigation for the potential involvement of the missing children accident. Witness reports the sighting of an employee dressed in a golden bunny suit, leading children to an unsupervised room. These children were later identified as the same kids reported missing by concerned parents. If you or anyone you know has any information about the current location of this masked employee, please contact authorities immediately. Parents, remember to keep an eye on your children at all times and report any suspicious activity. Thirteen special preview Thursday opens Friday. Hello, everybody. You ready to have a good time? I know I am. Cause it's pretty fast, fair pizza. For kids, it's number one. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where fantasy meets fun. Fun not actually guaranteed. Well, let's meet the band. My name is Freddy, I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a big bow tie. Well, I'm a big brown bear, but don't be scared. I'm a real much for a job. loving guy. Things about babysitter? Bonnie by no. Name, I'm Exterminator? Nah. Newspaper delivery boy? That's a big nope. My name is Christian Smith, and I'm here to apply for the job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Hmm. Alright. I'll let the manager know you'll be here at 9. Okay. Thanks. So, um, I heard you were interested in the, uh, in this occupation as the security guard? That's right. Okay, good. Now, I understand your resume says that you have no work experience at all, so, uh, is that going to be an issue at all? Yes, that's correct. Okay, good, um, well, anyway. So basically, okay, follow me. You're going to be in the very far end of the room, like, on the other side of the dining area. There are these two magnetic doors, they waste power. I mean, if you want to have power, the doors will open, so you won't be trapped inside, you're claustrophobic or whatever. Oh, well, I play video games a lot, so I think I'm good there. Now, the main focus is on the animatronics. They're irreplaceable, and they're hard to, and they're hard to fix. We, we would fix them, but money's a little tight right now. Um, why? I mean, these animatronics are old. They're, uh, they're hard, they're easy to break, they're irreplaceable. They're... They are worth a fortune to us, and if something bad ever happens to them, we're, we're pretty, our company pretty much going to go bankrupt. Oh, oh, well, 
You got me there. I'm mainly here because I would love to come back to this good old place. Somewhere I could remember. Okay, we, you're familiar with all these animatronics yeah, here, but uh, the one we don't really use anymore is Foxy. Why? Mainly because uh, a while ago, there was like some sort of incident involving him. We don't like, we don't like to talk about that. It, it's bad for business. I see. Okay, I understand. Well, consider yourself hired, my friend. Disappoint me? You're fired. Sounds good. Oh, there you are. Okay, glad you came here early. Wait, oh, real quick. Are you excited to work on the first day of the job? I guess. Well, at least didn't say no. Come on, follow me. Now, uh, the main thing I want to tell you is, uh, we don't have enough money. Very limited. When, basically, basically, the electricity situation is terrible. Oh. Okay, this is the station. Can I see right there? That's good to hear. That's all I want to say besides that uh, don't get out of your office at any time. If you see anything fishy, just use your doors. Doesn't sound too bad. Now, look, I gotta attend something important personally, personal-wise. So, uh, you'll, you will get a phone call from, from, uh, the guy who used to work here. Makes sense. Yeah, see you tomorrow, hopefully, and, uh, have a good night. Bye. Alright, see ya. you settled in for your first night. I actually used to work in that office before you. Actually, I'm finishing my last week, as a matter of fact. Oh. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So, let's just focus on getting you through your first night, okay? All right. Let's see, there's this introductory greeting from the company I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know? Of course. Okay, uh, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for grown-ups and kids alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing persons report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached. Carpets replaced, blah blah blah. Now I know that sounds bad, I know, but really there's nothing to worry about. Now the animatronic characters here do tend to get a bit quirky at night. Quirky? Yeah, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years, I'd probably get a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, so we need to show them some respect, okay? Okay. 
So just be aware, these characters do tend to wander a bit. Wait, they wander? Yeah, they're left in some sort of free roaming mode at night. Something about their servos locking up if they're left off for too long. But why don't they just do that in the daytime? Well, they used to be able to walk around during the day, but then there was a bite of 87 and mostly the bite of 88. Wait. Yeah, there's something different in each of the restaurants due to Mangle and Foxy. But it's amazing how the human body can survive without a frontal lobe. Now, concerning your safety, the only real risk for you as a night watchman, if any, is that these characters, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. What? What will they recognize me as? They'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to... Could you be programmed to walk in the middle of the night? 